Well, it was kind of a gray and wet day yesterday around western Washington, and then we got the convergence zone uh, overnight last night, and that uh, gave us pretty good snowfalls up in the Cascades. Here in the lowlands this morning, though, we've got, uh, you can see over the interior, not much going on. Still some showers out towards the coast in southwestern Washington. Those are going to just gradually go away and dissipate, and we do have some high pressure beginning to build in over us. A little bit of convergence still going on up there, uh, primarily Everett on up towards Bellingham, and you can see that's uh, weakening, too, and that's going to be gone here probably about, about mid-morning, so that chance of showers there will be going away, as well as the chance of some snow flurries up in the mountains, for that matter. Take a look at the shot there from our Bellingham Tower Cam. Cloudy skies this morning, but uh, maybe a couple sprinkles, but that's about all we can muster there. And check in there in Everett, we continue to see the raindrops coming out of that convergence zone. But again, that's going to wrap up by mid-morning, even in the Everett area. Though The clouds will probably hang in until this afternoon before you start to see some clearing there. And in Tacoma, cloudy skies this morning, but dry and not much in the way of wind. It's which has good points and bad points. Not much wind also means some areas of fog scattered around that you might run into as well. Temperatures starting to show that cooling we've been talking about headed our way and mostly down into the 30s. Camino Island just a little bit warmer for some reason, maybe because it's right by the water or maybe somebody uh, turned the heater on <laughs> out of the uh, instrumentation site. So, but mostly in the uh, mid to upper 30s, a few low 30s when we get down into the south sound. Check on the uh, computer model. You can see it shows a little bit of convergence zone this morning. That kind of goes away. We're going to have some clouds kind of over the area, so it's going to be a partly sunny day, but it will be drying out as we head towards this afternoon. We did, oh, by the way, overnight see snow levels in the convergence zone drop all the way to about a thousand feet. So we did get about an inch of snow at some of the places out towards the Cascade foothills from that convergence zone. But you can see as we head into tomorrow, we're looking dry. We'll probably see more widespread fog tomorrow morning with that. Unfortunately, a little bit cooler temperatures. We'll see a few clouds around tomorrow. So overall, a partly sunny day as a system kind of dissipates up over Vancouver Island. Then as we head into Saturday, we'll see a little weak system kind of come through here with a quick hit of uh, rain for the area. Checking Snoqualmie Pass right now. They just uh, upgraded everything to Traction tires just advise both directions. They've gotten the snow plowed off. Stevens Pass, however, still has chains required both directions. And then just traction tires advise for both White Pass and for Blewett Passes at this hour. Take a look at our mountain forecast. We're going to see a few morning snow showers. Otherwise, mostly cloudy. You might see a little bit of sunshine this afternoon. We're going to look for that snow between about 1,500 and 2,000 feet. And our extended forecast as we head towards tomorrow. Partly sunny, a little bit of patchy fog around is all we're going to deal with. High temperatures getting into the mid to maybe upper 40s. Increasing rain midday to afternoon on Sunday. It'll go through pretty quickly. Pretty much wrap up Saturday night. Partly sunny after morning fog Sunday. Another quick round of showers on Monday and then partly sunny after morning fog Tuesday. And it looks like partly to mostly sunny after morning fog all the way into the following weekend. Though may have some problems with persistent fog in a few places. Maybe some air stagnation difficulties later next week. But it looks like a stretch of four or five dry days.